Hey YouTube, welcome back. Hey, today I want to talk about the Renogy Rover MPPT charge controller. What you see here is a 40 amp one. They also have a 20 amp one that you can get as well. Um, this is pretty much a review. I'm going to show everybody the instrument panel on here. Um, control panel, I should say. Um, then I'm going to do a couple more videos. One on the installation of the uh, software that they have that you can download from their website and I'm also going to do one on operating the software itself. Um, pretty good information uh, I learned and everything else and it's it's got to give a review real fast. This thing is awesome. This is I would recommend it to a lot of people. Um, just to get the negatives out of this thing I only found two of them so far. Two. <laughs> um, the first one are these lights. They're white lights. They're white LEDs. Um, this one's for your panels right now. If you guys look, I don't know if you can see it or not, that says floating. And that brings me back to the next one. Like when you push up, right? I wish this would be illuminated like that. Because at night, um, we don't have a lot of, the light has to be perfect to get this to get this uh, so you can see and everything. And if you use a, a flashlight or if you have a different light, it gives a, an edge or um, dull factor. I don't really like that. It's, it's kind of hard to see in some areas. But if it, if it would illuminate up, the LCD screen would illuminate up for like a five second interval. Um, you can do that with like a 555 timer if they're listening. <laughs> um, notice how they have use 555 timers up here for their flashing indicating lights. Um, which gets me back to this point. Um, they're all white, so when you're standing way back here, they, you cannot tell which ones are which. So you almost have to be up on it within a point blank range, um, just to see which lights are flashing. This one is for your panels, this one's for your battery, this one's for, um, your, uh, load out on the 12 volt load out here. Um... <clears throat> That would be for the way I have it set up, and I'm going to explain to you guys in a little bit. Um, you can put a, a LED lights or a camper lights or something like that kind of lights. And that way, you would, it would turn on and you can... I'll, I'll show you guys in a little bit on how to do it. And you have your warning light. And they're all white lights. So if it could be like an orange or a red down here for the warning. Maybe a green LED for the solar panels and maybe a... A blue for that, and then their load would be a different, oops, sorry, different color. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Sorry. Just got on eating. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you guys this. Um, again, the light's on. Uh, the sun's on, I should say. <laughs> big light. Big, bright light. Um, the panels are here. Um, going into the battery. It looks like it's fully charged. And this is going out to your load. And notice I have it turned off right now. Um, it's in a floating stage. So the heat back here is being dissipated and I cut that hole as you guys probably seen from a different, the different videos um, when I mounted this just to get more heat extraction out of it. I have it set up for a 12 volt battery right now and go either 12 or 24 and I also have it on gel which is really nice because a lot of charge controllers won't allow the gel battery setting. Okay, so the next thing I do, um, if you want to see the wiring, look at my past video on how to do that. Um, when you push up, this gives you um, your voltage. Remember, these are 12 volt bad or 12 volt solar cell. So right now I'm heading 22.1. The reason why it is, like I said in the, my last one, is when I test these, they're at 77 degrees or 73. I don't know which one. I think it's 77. Yeah, it's 77. <clears throat> 77 degrees Fahrenheit um, ambient temp. And every time it gets below 77 degrees, it starts increasing the voltage. Right now, outside, we're at probably um, 12 or 13 degrees. Um, we have an overcast skies, too, as well. Um, so they're producing that much, and that's how much voltage and stuff we're dropping and using. Um, right now, it's creating 2.7 amps. So you take that 2 point, or 20, 22 volts, take it by... 0.27 and that's what your wattage would get um, one of the questions I've had in my last video um, a guy was trying to ask me I believe it was a guy maybe it was a woman I'm not sure um, a person was asking me 
they have a 280 watt panel or a single panel and they're getting 30 plus volts i'm assuming that's a 24 volt battery or a 24 volt cell um power cell solar cell but um i'm not really sure where you live and where i live are completely two different places i mean unless you're my next door neighbor within the same counties range as i am same parallel um on the on the globe and stuff <laughs> um it's kind of it, it's like comparing apples to oranges you just can't really do it now if you were my neighbor and you had the exact same thing i could be like hey we could tweak this out and do this do this do this a little different maybe you can get more out of it um, I'm not sure what angle you're at. Um, I'm not sure if you have a tracking system or anything else. What what I'm showing you is what we have right now. And just a little user interface, um, like the manual they give you, this thing right here, it's awesome. Um, it takes a little while to understand it at first because they kind of segue off into different things and, and stuff and some of the arrows that they have in their pictures like that. Um, it doesn't really, or when they go through like these ones, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but after using it, it is three weeks now since I installed it. So since my last video on this as well. So I wanted to show you guys um, a little bit more about it. So here's your amps, getting back to this, sorry I digressed. Um, your amps are 2.65 coming in right now. My battery is at 100%. Um, my voltage is at 14 and holding steady. Uh, you can change these parameters around in the next one, and I'll show you guys kind of about that stuff. Um, this is the amp hours going out to the load. Um, this little thing right there, the light bulb, that's your load on these two. So you know, I'm not using any ampers. Oh, I, I have this turned off just because it's not going to make um, a lot of sense if I don't have anything there. Why I'm going to put electricity to it. Okay, this uh, 21 amp hours, right? This is your accumulated amp hours for the day okay um and it resets every every morning or every night time when it, when it stops charging it does that and this is one amp hour to my load but my load's on on so <laughs> damn it i'm getting picked. i'm getting jacked no um my battery's at 24 degrees celsius just get an app on your phone um to do the difference for you celsius and fahrenheit i wish they could do that too if they could change that to either a Fahrenheit or Celsius. Um, okay, this is your load, uh, load settings. When it comes stock, if you want, ever want to change something to your thing, you just push and hold this button, the right button, and then you can go up, and then this is, gives you a different, different things. Like if, um, let me get my book out. Sorry, guys. Okay, this is a section in the manual. Sorry, I'm still here. <laughs> Where you have automatic on or off. So if what that does is if you have like, um, it'd be like a photo cell. So when the sun goes down, the lights, the power would turn on. So if you have something like underneath your, your cabinets or a walkway or something like that, where you have to turn the, the lights on and everything else um, at a certain time, this would be an awesome way to do it, especially if you're only 12, 12 volts. Do you have a different time um, time control? Um, the manual on or off um, test in a 24 hour. But that 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 is a nice thing about this. I'm gonna set it back down to zero. Oops, it goes all the way up. <laughs> okay, and then just hold it again and I'll go back. So if you wanna oops, this is your air coat, and they give you a whole bunch of airs. A lot of times, um, like if you use a generator and this is, this is hooked up, it'll give a and your battery charger that you're using, like I like I have right now. Um, sometimes it'll max out on the voltage and it'll start flashing. Or if you get too low, because my kids want to play a bunch of video games and charge their phone, play music, and everything else all at the exact same time, so my battery gets low sometimes. Um, so you'll get a code in here, and you can go back into the manual and read the code. It's very very simple after a while. You get to know this thing. Um, <clears throat> it's still in the floating. And then uh, if you want to go up, I believe right here. Okay. Your amp. Your amp's coming in from the solar panel. I believe right here is where I would change my battery. See how it's saying flashing gel? 
Well, I can change it all through, but I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> but that's how you would change your battery. Um, yeah, either one of these. And I don't know what this will do. Just change your battery again. So, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this is the very basics of it. But I would highly recommend this. Uh, Ren and G, if you guys are listening, different colors. And if you can do the, the LED or the backlight on the LCD controller, that would be awesome too. <laughs> Other than that, um, highly recommend it, guys. We've had, uh, this is 21 days. We have an overcast skies right now with the MPPT, um, the actual, the way it works. I'm not going to get the technic technicalities and the operations manual they give, which is awesome. I would recommend that too. Um, going through it and read it before you install it and know about it and watch videos like this <laughs> so thanks for watching guys i know it was kind of long but um i hope you guys have a happy christmas or a merry christmas and happy new year and be safe and everything else i'll see you guys out there hello to my new subscribers and hello to my old ones thank you guys bye bye